In this video, we will be finding the square root of 75. In order to find the square root of 75, we first need to review an important math concept. The square root of a times b is equal to the square root of a times the square root of b, meaning that if you have two numbers multiplied inside a square root, you can then separate them out and multiply them. If we apply the same concept to 75, we first need to look at the factors of 75. I'm choosing the factors 25 and 3 because 25 is a perfect square. We can therefore rewrite the square root of 75 as a square root of 25 times 3. And using this math rule we previously established, we can then change this into the square root of 25 times the square root of 3. And the square root of 25 is 5, as 5 squared gives us 25. So now we can say that the square root of 75 equals 5 times the square root of 3. This gives us a simplified version of the square root of 75. However, if we want to estimate the square root of 75 to the nearest whole number, we can look at perfect squares near 75. The first value we should look at is 8 squared, which is 64. The second value we should look at is 9 squared, which is 81. So we can see that 75 falls between 64 and 81. Therefore, we can write the following inequality. The square root of 64 is less than the square root of 75, which is less than the square root of 81. Because 8 squared equals 64, we know the square root of 64 is 8. And because 9 squared is 81, we know the square root of 81 is 9. Therefore, the square root of 75 lies between 8 and 9. To find the value that the square root of 75 is closest to, we can look at the difference between 75 and the perfect squares that it lies between. We would do 75 minus 64 to get 11, which means that 75 is 11 away from 64, and then do 81 minus 75 to get 6, meaning that 75 is 6 away from 81. Because 6 is less than 11, that means that the square root of 75 is closest to 9. Therefore, we can estimate the square root of 75 as being approximately 9. 